still losing money, still can't make it as a trader, still believing that another indicator or changing time frame or trying a different market will make the change you are so hoping for? Do you feel like you're stuck in a closed loop chasing the holy grail strategy, the undiscovered indicator? Well, you can quit this race because it will not take you where you want to go. If you are this trader, then this video's for you. Because there's a good reason you were not making it until now. And the reason isn't your lack of knowledge, and it's not any secret indicator. It's not even you being not experienced enough. The problem was never with your technical analysis. It's in the way our mind is wired, not allowing us to become profitable unless we make the one necessary change in the way we think about trading. <gasps> okay. So let's dive in and understand what is the true issue here. You see, Mark Douglas, who is considered to be the best trading psychology author, who also wrote the two awesome books Trading in the Zone and The Disciplined Trader, had pinpointed the one big thing preventing us from being successful as traders. Our mind is not naturally wired to perceive the market in its true nature. We evolved to associate events. This was a protective mechanism for millions of years. The problem is that when it comes to trading, we must adopt a different way of thinking. We must think in probabilities. Otherwise, no matter how hard we try, we won't be able to trade without fear. And exactly there is when it comes to fear, where we run into trading errors. And trading errors, my friend, is what kills your account. It is not anything else. According to Douglas, the typical new trader operates out of four basic fears. The fear of losing money, the fear of being wrong, the fear of missing out, and the fear of leaving money on the table. If you are a new trader and you have not adopted the necessary change to your belief system, you must be trading out of these four fears, or at least a couple of them. Now that we understand the problem, we must also understand the true nature of the market. The market by its very nature contains no negative or positive energy. It contains no energy whatsoever. It is us traders who reflect our fear on the market, wrongly assuming it's the market that makes us feel like that. If you are unable to trade without the slightest bit of emotional discomfort, specifically fear, then you have not learned how to accept the risks inherent in trading. This is a big problem, because to whatever degree you haven't accepted the risk, is the same degree to which you will avoid the risk. Trying to avoid something that is unavoidable will have disastrous effects on your abilities to trade successfully. Learning to accept the risk is a trading skill, the most important skill you can learn. We use technical analysis to gain something called an edge over the market. Technical analysis organizes human behavior into patterns. The patterns repeat themselves with positive statistical outcome and they are predictable over a large sample size. So where's the problem? Well, although the pattern repeats themselves with predictable outcomes, the outcome of any individual trade is unpredictable and unknowable. We know that our edge should give us a positive outcome over a large sample size. But when it happens to be a loser, we tap this trade into our four fears I had mentioned before. Stick it in your head. No technical analysis, no indicator in the world, will be able to tell you exactly if the next trade is a winner or loser. The hard, cold reality of trading is that every trade has an uncertain outcome. When you operate from the assumption that more or better analysis will create consistency, you will be driven to gather as many market variables as possible into your arsenal of trading tools. But what happens then? You are still disappointed and betrayed by the markets, time and again, because of something you didn't see or give enough consideration to. It will feel like you can't trust the market, but the reality is, you can't trust yourself. If you are using technical analysis in any capacity to avoid being wrong, well you already know, it doesn't work. So what happens to us when we experience three losers in a row? Remember. Our mind evolved to make an immediate connection between this, even to other events in the past. So now we are almost sure the next trade will be another loser. We fear of losing more money. We fear of being wrong again. We fear, we fear, we fear. 
Now, we will for sure make trading errors such as revenge trading, or we might jump the gun, or we might even skip the next trade. Sound familiar? You see the loop here. Well, there's nothing wrong with you. You just haven't made the change yet from thinking from a trade-by-trade -trade perspective into thinking in probability. And I know the concept of probability is clear to you, but let's be honest for a second or two, your trading account shows that it's not. You see, according to Douglas, we must truly believe these five fundamental truths about the market. Anything can happen at any given moment. Every moment in the market is unique. You don't need to know what's going to happen next to make money in the market. Your edge is nothing more than an indication of a higher Target probability build. of one thing happening over the other. There's a random distribution between wins and losses in your trading system, and there's absolutely nothing you can do to know the outcome of any individual trade. When you believe, and I mean really believe in your core system that trading is simply a probability game, concepts like right or wrong no longer affect you. When you truly believe in these truths about the market, you will be able to be wrong without feeling that there is something wrong with you. And you will be able to lose without feeling like a loser. And when you don't feel like you have made a mistake, or you are a loser just because you experienced three losers in a row, you will not operate out of the four fears which destroy your ability to stay focused and make the right decisions. The consistency you have always looked for in the market was never there. It's all in your mind. You can't change the market, but you can change the way you feel about the market. Your goal is to be able to trade without fear, in a carefree state of mind. Okay, so you must be asking, is there a solution? Yes, there is, and it is the one necessary exercise you must commit to do to install the five truths about the market deep in your belief system. So are you ready? Here it comes. You are going to take the next 20 trades according to your criteria, but this time, you are committed to taking every single one of them. <gasps> you can't skip, you can't avoid, you can't cheat, you can't make excuses. You must take them all. You can't move your stop loss. You can't in general move the target. You can't use anything you've used so far. It will be challenging, let me tell you that. It's like learning another skill, like learning to play the piano or driving fast. We are not born with these skills. We earn them. You will fight your contradicting beliefs and fears, but that's the whole purpose of this exercise, convincing yourself that everything you thought about trading was wrong. You do this exercise till you can execute your trades effortlessly, until you are no longer feeling any internal conflict anymore and you are no longer operating under fear. Trade small if you have to. That's fine. But do not break these simple rules. That is what's important. Remember one important thing here. If you skip or avoid any trade, you must begin the exercise from zero. You have to be able to execute all 20 trades without any excuses. I have done this exercise two years ago when I was struggling as a trader. It completely changed my trading, and ever since then, trading is no longer scary or frustrating or anything like that. By the time you complete this exercise, you will no longer be the trader you used to be. A whole new world of profitable trading will be ready for you out there. Remember that if you aren't successful so far, it is not because of what you still do not know about technical analysis. It is because your beliefs about trading are currently wrong and you were on a path of installing new beliefs in your brilliant mind.